Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have another episode of Tough Love Girl Talk. Yay! You guys have been going crazy in the comments, going crazy in my likes, messaging me, telling me how much you guys are really enjoying this series. And I am so, 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 so happy that I could bring some sort of value to you guys that i'm being consistent yay let's let's clap for that because you know you know me i get sidetracked okay because i am getting such great feedback from you guys it is so easy for me to be consistent so let's keep that up if you're new here welcome my name's mariah i help women see their value know their worth level up and attract high value opportunities provider men and everything that you desire so if that's something that you want to learn or if that's something that you could use a little bit of help with go ahead and subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up so i can continue to be consistent with you guys with this content but you guys have really been showing out so i want to say thank you and i want to show my appreciation for you guys so thank you so much today we're just going to jump right into it i have a bone to pick with some of you and women in general i have a you know, kind of like a resentful spirit that I need to just let it all out because I really, and, and that's what it is, guys. It's a resentful spirit. I, I I am expressing myself with you guys. You guys know I'm real and a part of the Tough Love Girl Talk. We we get real, okay? We don't we don't sugarcoat and guys, you know, I just want to be nice. And, no, we're it's tough love, baby. It's tough love. And I have a little bit of built up, you know, frustration when it comes to this topic because a lot of you guys don't even realize that your mindset is holding you back so we're going to kind of discuss that today we're going to discuss mindset and how we can shift that right because i do offer solutions somebody commented that in my last video and i want to shout out to that person because absolutely i think that's what separates me from the rest of everybody is that i actually offer you guys solutions i'm not sitting here just chit chatting and talking your ear off i actually tell you how to fix things and steps and measures that you can take to better your life to level up to attract those type you know those high caliber men to attract better opportunities to yourself i am not just sitting here rambling and telling you guys about myself and all of my client success stories you can be just as successful as me and you can be just as successful as them if you just trust me and follow these simple steps and these simple strategies. So just jumping right into mindset again, you know, I think it is so important that us as women, not only do we know our worth, you know, as individuals, but we also know what we bring just off being a woman, just off of our birthright alone. And I feel like a lot of us aren't understanding that and that is what's holding us back when it comes to choosing better men, when it comes to putting ourselves out there on the dating market and having high standards, when it comes to setting boundaries, setting the tone in relationships, right? A lot of us struggle with that simply because we don't even know our worth and our value as a woman out here just, you know, in the world. And I really truly feel like if you guys are not understanding that, you will indeed struggle. Okay, you will indeed struggle. Just off being born a woman, there are things that you are entitled to. There are things that you should be, you know, aware of that you have that are going to automatically increase your value and automatically separate you from the rest. With that being said, the reason why I know you guys are not at that level yet, at that highly desired mindset level yet, to where you're almost blocking your blessings is because of the way that you guys think, is because of the way you guys message me. I'm not gonna bullshit you right now. I get so freaking frustrated when you guys DM me and you guys send me screenshots. Number one, when you're not even a paying client and you think I'm about to read all that, baby. Let's invest into ourselves. If we want help, I have no problem with helping y'all. But when you guys send me these five paragraph essays and think I'm about to just help you and read all that for free, I know my value, okay? My time is valuable. So let's just put that to the side. But you get what I'm trying to say. One thing that really, really frustrates me is when I get these DMs and, you know, it's women just bashing men it's women just taking one little situation that they had with a man that wasn't even their boyfriend that wasn't even their husband that's never spent any money on them that's never shown them even two percent that they like them taking that one situation that one man and then 
you know, applying it to the rest of men, applying it to, you know, everybody in the world, applying it to, you know, one man cheated and now all men are cheaters. One man was dusty and now just go level up and make money yourself because men can't be dependent on. If you're watching this and you're looking for a way to piss me off, those two things are the number one ways to piss me the hell off. Do not message me like that, number one. Okay, because our mindsets are different. I don't believe that all men are trash. I don't believe that all men are not providers anymore. I don't believe that men are, are feminine these days, right? Do I believe that some may be? Absolutely. Do I believe that there's an agenda and the media is really pushing men to be feminine and women to be more masculine? Absolutely. But do I sit there and create a narrative for every single man that is, you know, on this earth, including other people's men. Oh, don't, girl, he's gonna cheat on you. Girl, he gonna, you know, he gonna provide, watch in three, four months, he gonna stop. You guys do that all the freaking time. And I'm here to tell you guys, first of all, that projection on other people's relationships, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Number one, because that's none of your business. And number two, you're already wishing negative on not only yourself, but on other people. So you should be fucking ashamed of yourself because you're telling us all, sis, that you don't know your value, that your mindset is lacking, that you have a lot of stuff to work on inside. What you guys don't understand is when you talk negative and when you're a negative, nasty person, and if you've watched my last Tough Love, Girl talk, we talked about the highly desired traits that men like, that men, you know, want in women and that us as women should want to be just, just off GP, just being a woman. You should want to have those nice qualities, those nice traits, those highly desired traits. You should just want to have those. It should have nothing to do with a man. It should do everything with you. And one of those traits that we talked about was positivity, being a positive woman. A positive woman is a highly desired woman, right? A man has a long eight hour, 12 hour workday and you come home and you're negative about the bills and you're negative about this and you're negative about social media and you're negative because you're comparing yourself to other people and you're negative because you're insecure and you're, you know, negative, 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 negative and you're, you know, looking for things to be mad at when it comes to him and you're looking for things to find to ruin your relationship and self-sabotage, all of that is from a mindset lack, ladies. So if any of those things sounds like you, congratulations, we are gonna fix that today because you found this video and I'm not letting you leave here with nothing. You're gonna always leave here with something when it comes to Mariah. Understand that when you are thinking this way, ladies, you are manifesting disaster for yourself. And I'm here to tell you right now, as a coach that has been coaching now for three years, this is something that I'm commonly, commonly seeing. I'm seeing a lot of you guys have these negative, nasty ass mindsets. And that's exactly what it is. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's the way that you feel about yourself and the way that you feel about men in general. And it's showing. And it may not be 100% your fault, but here on this channel, we only take control of the things that we can control and that is ourselves. So even if you have dealt with men that weren't shit, even if you have dealt with men that were feminine as fuck, even if you have dealt with men that were damn near about to switch to the other side, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. You can only control yourself because at the end of the day, you chose that person. You chose that man. You chose to give him your body. You chose to give him your energy. You chose to claim him, okay? If it was me and I had a Dusty and you know it was something that I didn't even realize I was getting myself into, I would never even speak on that situation again. I'd be like, I don't know who that woman is. That's not me. I'm never going back there. And I don't know what y'all talking about to be quite frank. No, instead you guys carry this. You guys carry this one man in these one situation or you know, maybe the past three relationships that were dusty and you wear it on you. You wear it on you like you're proud. How do I know you wear it on you? Well, number one, you're in my DMs with five paragraph essays complaining, number one. Number two, you're on dates scaring away actual high value provider men because you're wearing your ex on you. 
you're dusty now too. That dust has now become a part of your personality. It has now shifted the way that you think about yourself and about everyone else. It has now become a part of your vocabulary. You don't even realize you're talking just like this man. All women ain't shit. Women, you know, what do women bring to the table? Well, a woman has to prove herself to me. You're going on dates doing the same exact thing. Oh, well, you know, men these days are feminine and, you know, he better be a provider because if he's not, I'm not dating him because, you know, these men, what do these men bring to the table? You sound just like him, sis, and you don't even realize it. When you date Dusty, you have to forget about it, level up and move on and, and vow to yourself, I'm never going to look back. You can't sit there and become the man and the people that have hurt you. That is not highly desired. Understand that me as a highly desired woman, as a woman who works on her level up journey every day, and yes, I will always say that. You guys would never hear me say, I'm just so leveled up and I'm perfect. No, you will never hear me say that because the level up journey never ends. So if somebody's already claiming to be top tier, you know, guru and this, that, and the third, and you know, damn near God, that's a red flag on their part because the level up journey never stops. We can always get better. We can always learn something new. Me as somebody who continues to level up every day, who continues to want to absorb new information. If I'm sitting down at a nice restaurant, I don't give a fuck if the man is Jeff Bezos. I don't give a damn if it's Elon Musk sitting across from me. If he's sitting there bashing on women, talking about his ex, talking about what his ex did to him, talking about how women need to prove themselves, talking about blah, 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 blah instant automatic ick instant automatic block okay i might finish up the dinner you know tell him have a good night because i'm feminine and i'm not going to argue with him and go back and forth but i'm going to remove myself and remove my energy understand that if you're going on dates being that dusty dude that you left and now your your resentment is is coming out and you're projecting onto men of quality onto men that could potentially change your life onto men that want to love you onto men that want to care about you onto men that are good men they will run away and then you're gonna come back to me again complaining in my dm oh why can't i find a high value provider man my ex was dusty and i'm going on dates with these rich men this is the number one reason contrary to popular belief a lot of women think that i get coaching clients based off the fact that women are not able to find these men and they just need help finding these men no my number one most popular client is a woman that can find these men, knows how to find them, knows how to go on dates with them, but cannot keep them. I've talked about that before. And this is one of those reasons why. Your mindset is scaring away high value provider men because you've dealt with Dusties in the past, but you have now become that Dusty and you don't even realize it because you're resentful, because you're, you're going on dates not positive, not feminine, not open, not, you know, bubbly, not trying to meet somebody new and create a, a future, maybe hopefully fingers crossed and, you know, make a friend. No, you're on dates on interviews. You're already irritated that you have to go on dates. You're mad as hell. You're resentful. You got a checklist ready to go on the date. You're kind of like, you know, stuck up. You're a little arrogant and it's all from built up resentment because you're still wearing that dusty on you. You don't even realize you guys still talk the same you guys still walk the same you are that man okay you might as well just call him back at the end of the date and say you know what baby we need to fix things we need to work on our relationship because you guys are literally twins you guys are twinning now understand that the more dusties that you date the more ladies it, it's like you have a film over you and when a lot of girls come to me in coaching, I have to work on removing that film because that film, what you guys don't understand from an outside point of view, we can see that. The people that are leveling up, these high value provider men that you want, okay, that you're deserving of, but you won't ever get, okay, they can see that film on you. If you don't work on removing that and changing your mindset and forgetting about your past and moving on and not having everybody pay for the mistakes that your ex made, that your dusty situationship made, and a lot of them, y'all were never even claimed in these relationships. And you guys are just out here being delusional. You guys were never even claimed, but you know, you're, you've taken trauma from it. That's why I'm so pro marriage and so pro you guys getting married so you can hurry up and stop being in this dating pool and just collecting all this trauma.
okay because that's really what it is all these relationships they just create a lot of trauma for us women and when it's time for us to actually get married and actually date and marry a high value provider man we're not even ready for him because we have all this past trauma film and everything else from our past relationships of with dusties that we can't even recognize when a true high value man is sitting right in front of our face you have to work on that ladies i'm sorry having no hope in men as a whole saying all men aren't shit as a whole saying that you don't need men as a whole okay i'm not saying your ex i'm saying as a whole that is your belief because of your ex that is dusty of you like i had said before you are actually manifesting more dust to come into your life because you won't let go of those past traumas because you won't get that film off of you because you're talking so negative about men you are now manifesting into your life terrible ass men congratulations you will not meet a provider man and you guys know in coaching i'll tell you guys straight up well if you're thinking like that you will not meet a provider man there's no sense in even working with me if that is your outlook on all men that is going to come out when you're going on dates and you're not going to be telling them that you watch me <laughs> you better tell them you watch somebody else i don't want to be a part of that understand ladies that not all men are bad men even when i have a negative experience with a man even when i want to choke a motherfucker oh even when i want to cuss somebody out that i went on a date with that was just terrible or an ex that just continues to hit you up and won't leave you alone and just hurt you and crushed your heart i still have faith that there are great men out there that there are men that want love so bad that there are men that die to provide for women and i truly believe that any man that i come into contact with they want to provide for me i don't care what their past was i don't care if they literally told me you know my last relationship i split bills that's great sweetie but over here you're gonna love it so much that you're gonna be so proud to be my full provider that is how i think when i deal with men and ladies the results show i don't get men that complain about providing i don't get men that bash women i don't get red pill podcast type dudes as dates i don't deal with those types of men that you guys are complaining about i don't deal with the men that are constantly looking for new options i don't deal with men that aren't kind of obsessed with me right because that's kind of like what we want in a healthy way right all women will say oh i want a man to be obsessed with me right i don't deal with men who aren't in love with me I don't deal with men who don't like to love. I don't deal with men who are insecure. I don't deal with men who don't know their role. I don't deal with these men. So when you guys are coming and complaining to me, yes, forgive me for being a little frustrated because I already know why you're not getting those types of men, guys. You're not getting those types of men because you're not even that type of woman. You are still wearing that dusty costume that you had on when you met your ex when you met your goofy ass dusty ex you are still that goofy ass dusty woman you have done nothing to level yourself up you have not done a mindset change you think all men are feminine in 2024 2025 you think all men are not shit you think you don't need a man you think you're independent you think you're a boss you think that you're better than everybody you think you don't even need to watch this video to level up yeah, you, I'm talking to you. And so you're sitting there wondering, well, why aren't my results resulting? Baby, because your mindset is attracting dust. You are dust. You have to really understand that like attracts like, guys. If you are not leveling up and you are not being positive in your thoughts, in, in dating, you're not happy, you're not a happy person, you are gonna attract somebody who's unhappy, who's miserable, who's still taking things out on new people because of their ex, who's still not over their ex, who still thinks everybody's like their ex. You're the same exact person. So that's why you're attracting dust and you will continue to attract dust. There's nothing I can do to help you. But if you start thinking positive about men, if you start saying positive affirmations about men, if you start telling yourself that you're deserving and you're worthy of men that provide, of men that come in and just love your socks off, of men that want a healthy relationship 
of men that are not narcissists. You know, that word is being thrown around so damn much that I'm starting to believe and we can make a whole nother video about it. About women also too being the narcissists. Yes, there are a lot of narcissistic men, especially when you get into, you know, dating for resources. There are a lot of narcissistic men. Yes, absolutely. But there are also a lot of narcissistic women and we will talk about that as well. But that is why, you know, a lot of us are attracting dust because we're still dusty. What I'm here to tell you guys is instead of trying to control men, instead of trying to shame men, instead of trying to put men down, how about we control our choices in men? If we simply control our choices in men and control who we choose to enter a long-term relationship or who we choose to enter a marriage or serious commitment with, we will see better results if we just simply learn how to choose and that is something that most women struggle with let me give you an example i actually love this client I kind of touched up on it this week in my stories so if you're not following me on my instagram please go over there and follow me at the highly desired and at the highly desired vip those are my two instagrams my only two instagrams go follow me over there i was posting this week you know kind of addressing her concern because I told y'all I'm frustrated with y'all. I'm sick of the DMs of women complaining about men or complaining about a particular guy and his lifestyle. And I'm just sitting there going, baby, those are not the men that we are talking about. You are choosing dust and then sitting here and complaining about all men and then sitting here and questioning my techniques, my skill. You're sitting here questioning it because it's not working for you. Well, sweetheart, it would not work for me either if I was choosing the bottom of the barrel. If I was choosing men that I've consistently talked about not to choose. Yet you guys still think that you can freaking turn something into nothing. That is a lack on your end. You are trying to build and create men out of nothing. You got fucking wood chips and scraps of dirt and you think you're gonna build a mansion with wood chips with wood chips and now you're going and complaining whoever taught you how to build the mansion ain't shit but they never told you to use wood chips sweetheart you can't build no damn mansion with wood chips and dirt really you can't even build a tent with that but you're sitting here complaining questioning my tactics questioning you know men as a whole Questioning if you even want to date anymore? No, sweetheart. You need to look within. It's who you're choosing. You're choosing to gather materials and try to build something out of nothing. You're choosing that. Nobody's telling you to do that. That's what you're choosing. And so the example that I want to give you was she was asking me, is it a red flag if a man is posting on his social media, other women, and putting emojis, of drooling emojis, and you know, kind of just lusting over these women on Instagram, and that she watches his stories and she sees this, is this a red flag? And I simply told her, I said, sweetie, because she's my client is why I responded to. I said, sweetie, can we be serious for one freaking minute? How many freaking times have I told you guys to stop fucking dating men on Instagram? How many times have I told you that? How many times have I posted my DMs laughing? How many times have I told you guys to stop entertaining men that are social media whores, that are IG models, that want to be us? How many times have I told you that? More than 10. So at this point, do you see where my resentment and my frustration is coming from? When I've literally tried to drill it into your head, what type of men you should be dating. I have a whole video on what high value provider men look like as far as what they're actually doing. Actions, not just looks, actions. And yet we're still choosing the bottom of the barrel men and trying to turn them into these types of men. It does not work that way. It does not work that way. So understand that there is something in your mindset that is stuck on these types of men. It's you. You are the problem. It's not these men. It's your choices in men. You are purposely choosing to deal with dust and then you're complaining that men are dusty. 
Ladies, we can't change nobody. We can only change and control ourselves. If you want to become a highly desired woman, highly desired women don't think that we can build mansions out of wood chips, sweetheart. We take men for who they are. We take them at face value and we see if that's something that aligns with what we want. That's something that aligns with our checklist, okay? And we move the fuck on if it doesn't. And we don't take that man and say, all men are like this. I'm giving up. I'm done. There, I'm done. Dating apps suck. I went on one bad date on a dating app and dating apps suck. There's no rich men on there. There's no high value men on there. I went freestyling one time and no man came up to me. Men are scared of women. Men are feminine. Really? And you're my fucking DMs crying. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to hear it. I'm not going to read it, especially when you're not paying me because I'm already irritated that you're even saying that. It's your mindset, ladies. It's not these men. I'm here to tell you that. It's not these men. It's who you're choosing. You're choosing gangsters and thugs and wondering why they are not corporate CEOs and in my DMs complaining. What the fuck can I do? I'm not God. I'm not God. I can redirect you. I can tell you what these men sound like, what they look like, what they act like, what they dress like. That's about it. Who you choose to deal with and who you choose to claim and who you choose to give your time, attention, and energy to, that is 100% on you. So I don't want to hear it. Your negative mindset, your negative self-talk, your down talk on yourself, your down talk on the whole community of men. You dated one rich guy and he financially abused you and took advantage of you. You married that millionaire and he made you sign a prenup and you didn't get anything. So now all wealthy men are predators. All wealthy men are stingy, right? So now you go and date the broke bums and now you're complaining the broke bums. They cheat and, you know, they lie and they don't have enough money to provide for you. So which one is it going to be? A lot of you guys know my coaching style. I'm here to give solutions. If you don't want to take the solutions and you just want to complain, you know, I've called girls out on, on live. You guys know I don't care. I don't care. I'm here to help. If you don't want the help, you don't want to take the solutions and you're just here to vent and complain, book a therapist. I am not that. I am not a therapist, don't want to be none of that because I cannot do that. If you don't want to change your life and better yourself and better your outcomes and get to the winning team, don't watch me, don't consume my content and don't come on here complaining because don't nobody care. I'll be honest, no one cares. It's who you're choosing and yes, a part of it is you because you are choosing these men. Something in you is still attracted to these men. Something in you cannot let these men go. I don't know if it's because your father was like that. I don't know if it's because you deal with issues with, you know, your family life. I don't know if you have pressure to date a certain type of man. I don't know if your family is, you know, pressuring you. I don't know what it is. All I know is that a part of it is you and a part of it is the way that you are thinking. So when you're thinking like that, you're not going to attract anything but dusty, broke bums. Nine times out of ten though, ladies, it is not even the man. It's you. Because a lot of times you guys see these red flags early on in dating and you guys choose to ignore them. Oh, I don't care. You know, I watched the, the video on how to build a mansion. They had all these different materials. I have wood chips and I have dirt. This is going to work for me. I don't care. This is going to work. You see that he didn't provide. You see that he wanted to split half the bill when you went on a date with him. You see that he's all over social media posting and, you know, twerking on TikTok. You see that he talks down about women. You see that he doesn't value women. You see that he doesn't value you. He's inconsistent with you. And yet you're still trying to take these materials that you're dealt with, which is dust and scraps, and you're trying to build a mansion out of that. And then you're coming to me complaining about all men. You are now insulting me and you're now insulting my clients and you're now insulting our men. Excuse me for being offended. We don't have those realities. That is not our reality. That is not our mindset. Even if we dealt with one dusty situation, we don't take that dusty situation and wear it on our chest and, and, and you know become that situation. A lot of you guys don't even realize you're becoming that situation because you want validation and you seek empathy out for what you went through. Sweetheart, 
sometimes you got to just take that loss and you got to move on. There's not enough closure in the world. There's not enough validation in the world. And there's not enough reassurance in the world for you to go back to that dusty ass situation. You should be trying to brainwash it out of your mind. You should be trying to scrap it completely and totally forget about it. We shouldn't even be bringing it up. We should touch on it you know, really quickly, okay, what did we learn from that situation and move the fuck on? We shouldn't even be remembering these guys' names. You guys allow these men to have way too much power over you. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Okay. You as a woman are born a divine feminine. You're born that way. You are born to receive. Okay. You don't believe me? Look at it from a biological standpoint for my science nerds like myself. Women were made to receive, right? When, when you're laying down and you're doing the nasty, right? Women are made to receive, men are the givers. That is our natural nature birthright. When you are trying to go against that and you're trying to give to dead situations, you're trying to give CPR to dead situations, you are now switching that polarity. You're trying to give, you're not trying to receive. You're trying to build a man. You're not trying to have him help build you. You're being negative when you need to be positive. Women that are truly feminine and truly understand that they are the divine feminine, they don't rest in this energy. They don't give away their power to men, relinquish power, and then sit there and wonder why men still have so much power over them, even though they're not together, even though that is their ex. You have more power than a lot of men, and yet you relinquish it to dusties understand that you do have a lot of power over men that's why men want you to submit and that's why it's important for you to choose a good leader to choose a good man to keep a positive outlook on men because you have a lot of power sis that's why they want you to submit but you cannot submit to just anyone so the problem is you had all this power and you submitted to just anyone and now you're resentful because you know you have that power deep inside, but you gave it away to dust. And now you think that you're going to regain power by speaking negatively about all men, blaming that one man and letting him take power over all your future relationships that you could be with high value provider men. That doesn't make sense, ladies. That's where my frustration comes with you guys. You have a gift and you relinquish your power and you give your power away when you don't realize your gift and you don't realize your value. You don't realize what a nasty negative mindset is doing for you. You need to start thinking more positive about not only yourself, but men in general. You need to start respecting men. All men should be respected, even if he's a dusty. This is how you show respect. You respect him enough to not cuss him out. You respect him enough to say, you know what, sweetie, that actually doesn't fit my needs, but I appreciate, you know, you being honest with me. And you move on. Look at that response. That makes a dusty man truly want to level himself up. And I'm not saying that you need to sit there and wait on him. I'm not telling you to do that at all. But I'm telling you, when you are the divine feminine and you use your power for good and you're positive and you're radiating those highly desired traits, it makes men deal with you differently. That's why I don't get dusty men. Even if maybe they were dusty in their past, I don't get those men. So when you guys ask me, for, for this advice, I can't help you with that. That is not my reality. I don't deal with those. I don't deal with that. The only reason I even know what's going on on that side is because you guys come and tell me the bullshit. I've never been asked, what do you bring to the table? I've never been asked to split a bill. I've never been ghosted on a date. I, I, you know, where he left me the bill. I'm, that's never happened to me, ladies. And I've met some dusties. I've met some dust bunnies. So I hope that today's topic was a little bit eye-opening to you. I hope that you see that, you know, you have more power than you think when it comes to dating these types of men. It's all in what you're believing. Are you believing all men are trash? Was that your mindset for a long time? What were the results when you shifted it? Is this something that you're gonna, you know, apply in the future? Did I call you out on today's topic? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your experience. Do you know anybody who has these beliefs, family members? Because that could also be a reason that you're now taking it in as well. 
you know there are certain cultures too and certain family members that are just negative they just negative they talk shit all the time and you don't even realize it's rubbed off on you this is the wake up call you need because it's affecting your dating options and it's affecting the way that you're thinking and it's blocking your blessings sweetie so if you enjoyed today's video again ladies give this video a thumbs up subscribe i love you guys that is it for today's topic today's tough love and i will see you guys on our next video i want to thank you guys so much for showing so much support for being here for listening through yeah that's it that's all i have for you guys so i'll see you guys on the next episode i love you so 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 much level up ladies it's not that hard i swear once you just do this little mindset shift you'll be good to go girl okay take care bye